Hey guys, what's up? It's me, the Don Fanatic, and welcome to another one of my Pokemon X and Y Wi-Fi battles. Today I have an NU battle against the Noble Co. Link to his channel will be in the description because he's got quite a large subscriber base, but he obviously deserves more, and um, his videos are awesome, so please make sure you check them out. He's a very consistent uploader, at least an upload a day, so I really enjoy his videos. Hope you guys do too. Uh, I also learn about color correction settings on Vegas from him, so if you guys are out there as aspiring YouTubers, you might learn some things about or from his video teaching you about color corrections and stuff, so yeah. Um, anyway, and your team, quick analysis of my team, I've got Specially Defensive Kecleon, uh, Choice Band Primate, Life Orb, Meowstic Female, uh, uh, Physically Defensive, I can't even think, oh, Quillfish, that's what it's called, uh, Scarfed, Electabuzz, and Guts Boost. Raticate, right? That, that it took me long enough to uh, get through my team. I can't even remember what my opponent's team is, but but we'll, we'll we'll struggle through this together. So my opponent starts off with Swellow, and I start off with Kecleon, which isn't the best thing, because um, if he'd have gone for well, he does protect, which I expect him to do. So I set up Stealth Rocks, because um, obviously, well, he has a Pyro on his team, and he has this Swellow. I also want to say he's got something else weak to Rock, so Rocks was quite nice. Um, and as this thing is going to be Brave Burning and U-Turning, this thing is going to die a lot quicker with Rocks up. Uh, and Poison too, which means it, it doesn't stay around that long. Um, I don't want to stay in though, I bring in Quillfish because I can get an Intimidate off. Um, and even at minus one, this Swellow does so much damage. I'm assuming it's Jolly, like standard Swellow, but um, about half a Facade uh, is a good amount against the Quillfish. Because Quillfish, I've never actually tried one out before. Um, it's really good though, Intimidate really helps this thing. He goes for the U-turn here. Um, to try and get switch initiative and I think at this point I decide to set up some spikes because spikes are nice and uh, my team isn't exactly the most powerful I don't think so with all of these um, nice hazards up I should be able to basically take out this Pokemon a lot easier um, I, I know I go for the pain split actually um, expecting well no knowing I'm at half HP whatever he wants to switch out to or wanted to do with um, Swellow I was going to be at a low amount of HP anyway so it, it's quite a safe move when he bought Dust Noir in, I did think to myself, oh wait, can can you actually hit Ghost Types with Pain Split? Because it's a normal type move. So it turns out you can. So there's some knowledge there for you guys. Uh, I bring in Kecleon though, because my only, well, my attacking move on this Kecleon turns out to be Knock Off, which is quite helpful. Because Dust Noir is bulky as hell, and it doesn't get reliable recovery other than leftovers. I think it gets Pain Split, but based on this set, I don't think it actually has Pain Split. So. It's quite important that I knock off his leftovers, I believe, anyway. He goes for the Earthquake, and I get my color change. I really want to try out Protein Kecleon, but I need someone to actually give me a Protein Kecleon to breed. Because that thing is so good. If you've ever seen Done Deal use it, that is, it does so much work, and I really want to try one out. So if you guys have Protein Kecleon, let me know. Anyway, I get the knockoff off. Does a lot of damage, even though I'm burnt, and he loses his leftovers, which is really nice. Um... In comes Quillfish though, because I can get the Intimidate. I know he's physically offensive. I know he's the Earthquake. Um, I, honestly, I wasn't expecting the Ice Punch. I didn't even think about that. Um, but I take it really well, obviously, because I'm a Water type. And with Black Sludge, I'm back to pretty much where I was the first time round. Now I start, up set, uh, start, up, start setting up spikes. Now, bear in mind I set up one layer of spikes. If I had to set up two layers of spikes, this game could have been a completely different. Just bear that in mind. So Earthquake does just about over half of what I had left. I'm going to go for a Pain Split just so I can live another one. Pretty sure Shadow Sneak will not kill me from this range. However, at the point, at this time, I didn't even think about Shadow Sneak. Now he goes to the Earthquake and brings him down to 7. So this is where I decide I want to stay and get my second layer of spikes up. And then I felt I'd be pretty safe bringing in something like Meowstic and starting to clean up his team. But he goes for the Shadow Sneak, which completely left my mind. So he has Will-O-Wisp. Shadow Sneak, Earthquake, and Ice Punch. I now know his whole set. Anyway, I bring in Petunia, my Raticate, because I know I can suck a punch and kill this thing. He withdraws, obviously not knowing what I'm going to do. I kind of actually expected that, because uh, Leafy on Switch is quite obvious. Uh, I go straight out for the U-turn. I was quite tempted just to go for a Facade um, to get the burn. That would have been quite nice, because then this U-turn would have done a lot more damage, and this Leafy on would have been a lot easier to deal with. But it doesn't matter in the end, because this Leafy on doesn't cause too much trouble. I do go back into, uh, I do switch out, sorry, from Raticate into my Electivire, and the way I bought my Electivire in, I thought it was quite obvious that I have the HP 
ice. So I think he's going to want to switch out, which he doesn't. So I Volt Switch, and uh, yeah, he gets a free turn to use a Synthesis, I think, um, which obviously isn't the best. Uh, but I bring in Kecleon because I want to try and knock off his leftovers, I think. Um, but after Burn, and even after leftovers as well, I'm not physically bulky enough to live a Leaf Blade on the next turn, I believe. I have seen the fact, or I don't think I noticed when I U-turned out with my Raticate that my opponent has got Rocky Helmet on this Leafeon, um, and I wasn't paying attention. Uh, well, no, I kind of noticed it wasn't, it didn't have an item, so I was really kind of confused as to what it was. Um, but he does kill my Kecleon, but now I have a free switch back in, or into Primate, where I'm going to go for a U-turn, I believe. Because I have got Ice Punch, but I know it won't kill from this range. And I don't really fancy losing a lot of HP on my Primate. This is the point where I realised that it's got Rocky Helmet and that's that's not good because Leafeon with Rocky Helmet is annoying. I bring in my Electivire this time round though. And um, he goes for the Charm which is quite funny. Uh, I wasn't expecting that. Didn't even... Well, I know it's an EV uh, level up move. <laughs> I've never seen it used competitively. And here I go for the Hidden Power because I kind of figure he doesn't actually realise I have Hidden Power. So... I'm just going to do it, because the sooner Leafeon's gone, the better. That thing is annoying. Um, but now he can bring in Dust Noir. And even after Rocks and Spikes, I'm pretty confident that HP Ice will not take it out from this range. And he has got the Earthquake, which I'm not very confident of living. So I want to switch out. And both my walls are dead, I believe, now, now at this point. So I bring in Primate, because it is the... Um, at, well, I don't know if I resist ground or not. I don't know my typings when it comes to fightings, resistances. Um, but I thought I could take an earthquake slightly better than that, and then Shadow Sneak does kill me, which is annoying. So, Primate goes down. I had to fodder something off in the end, and I wish I hadn't. Well, I don't really know if foddering off Primate was the best thing or not, but I do have Petunia now. He goes for the Sucker Punch. He goes for the will o -Wisp, which doesn't really bother me at all, because I'm Flame Orb and Guts. So, uh, I'm going to kill it, whatever. And, um... Yeah, basically, he just with pressure, it was really annoying. If I if he didn't have pressure, I could have kept on sucker punching. Because I had five, I didn't have PP ups in this. I only have one left after these two turns, which is so annoying. I can only kill one more thing on my opponent's team. Um, 78 HP now, so he brings in Pyroar. And this is where the extra layer of spikes would have been nice, because um, he would have been brought down to a, a, a range of health, where sucker punch would have actually killed because look at how little HP it lives with. It gets such, well, it's so little HP where Life Orb would have actually finished it off on its next turn, because it is a Life Orb Pyro, and if there was another layer of spikes, I'm pretty confident it would have been low enough down to die from Life Orb Recoil. Um, I don't know if Calcs or whatnot, I, I haven't looked, but I do have to bring in Electabuzz now and Volt Switch out. Um, I don't really want to lock myself into a move at this stage, because my opponent's still looking pretty strong, um, but he does get switch initiative now, which is annoying. So I bring in Meowstic because it's fast and it, it can hit things hard. But he has Swellow, which is faster, and there's not a chance in hell that I'm going to live any move he wants to go for. So I just stay in to die. Kind of hoping to go for Brave Bird to get the recoil, but obviously he doesn't. He goes for the Facade instead. Kind of expecting him to go for the U-turn, actually. Um, well, there was no need for him to go for U-turn, really. Uh, I do now, however, I believe my last... Oh, I have my last Pokemon, which is Electabuzz, which... All my po Electabuzz can kill everything, uh, so I thought. I go for the Thunderbolt and kill this thing, because I'm Scarfed, I outspeed. He could have gone for Quick Attack, probably wouldn't have killed me. But it would have been nice. And this is also where Spike's um, layer number two would have been even more helpful, because Samurai comes in, gets hurt by rocks, and the one layer of Spike's... So check. Yeah, Spike's would have definitely helped kill that Pyro quicker. Um, Thunderbolt, is it going to take it out? If it takes it out, I win. No, it's Assault Vest Samurai, and it lived with 6 HP is what he told me. So, that's the game. Waterfall is going to be enough to kill me, even without any boosts. Goddamn Samurai, you are powerful. Thanks for the battle, though, because it was really fun. Um, I'm sure he'll upload his uh, side to his channel soon, or he might have already done it. I don't know. I haven't seen it. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Thanks for the uh, recent... I forgot what support, that's the word, recent support for my channel, the growth recently has been awesome, hope to see you guys later, goodbye.